guys how are you guess what it's my channel Sheila Shamay and look at my hair I'm pretty sure you know pretty much as to what this video is about now if you don't know I'll tell you okay it's about natural hair care okay basically I want to do this video on taking care of your natural hair First of all, I have to say that I got sent some products here and I am so excited. I was so excited when the person, you know, um, you know, sent me a message or whatnot and this company sent me these products. I will get to the product soon. And it's amazing how they sent these products just when I need it, okay? Just to let you understand, so you can understand where I'm coming from, okay? About the end of last year, I decided to start over with my hair, okay? I decided that I wanted to get my hair healthy again, and you know what I did? I grabbed my scissors and I cut my hair down to that much. Yes, I did. Okay? About that much. And what I did is I braided my hair. And when I mean braided, I put it in, as we say, corn rolls. And I wore wigs. Okay? Because I wanted to start over with my hair. And while I was doing that, I was taking care of my hair, keeping it washed, conditioned, etc., etc. And then when I would get through, I would braid my hair back up. Okay. So finally, last month, yeah, last month, I decided to take it down and kind of see how long it has grown because I was taking it taking it down I was taking it down as I had it in cornrows and was growing out my hair after I cut it about this much yeah you guys it was short this much okay so I said okay I'm going to take it down next month and I'm just going to try to fix it do something with it just take a look at it so what I basically did is I did put some layers in my hair so I did cut a little extra so that's why it's a little longer here and um, with it completely straight and as you see at the in the front of the video I did curl it a little bit um, it's still kind of like in the half natural state and so if it was a bit straighter you could actually see how long it is it's actually about this long, okay? It's shoulder length, okay? But, anyways, so I was very happy. The thing that I noticed about my hair is this, like I always mention to you all, is when I was younger, my hair was like red, blonde, brown, all sorts of colors. Now, if you look at the edges of my hair, it is blonde, okay? <laughs> it has a lot of blonde going on, and even throughout my hair, you can see some red in it, okay? I have not color treated my hair at all since I cut it, okay? So, this is all new growth, okay? And so, basically... Um, I decided, I said, wow, this is really nice. Like, you know, it's, it's, it reminds me back when I was in school when I used to have to do so much to keep my hair done. And I didn't wear wigs, okay? I um, occasionally used extensions. But when I got out of school, I got really into extensions. And um, being, I wore extensions for many, many years before I started wearing wigs. And I started wearing wigs mainly to start taking care of my natural hair. Like to get it back to its, you know, to its, get it back to its natural luster. You know, get it back to its health state. 
okay so I decided okay I'm gonna wear wigs I'm just gonna braid my hair and wear wigs for a while and just see the process you know the process of my growth as far as my hair growing and my hair health um, improving and it did okay that is a good way to um, if you're wanting to know a good way to get rid of your damaged hair and get your hair back on track I personally had to cut all my hair down to my roots basically what was like my natural growth I cut all the chemical off boom cut all the the parts of my hair that had chemicals on it I did let it grow out a good bit before I did that okay um, but like I said I didn't let it grow out but about that much it was pure fresh new growth hair and then the rest I clipped it just like that and I did not you know it was very very short but when I look at my hair today last month I was amazed because my hair feels so soft it feels like when I was back in school, <laughs> middle school, high school, when my hair was like super, super healthy and very beautiful. And so it surprised me, okay? It surprised me so much that I received these products because that was the next step I wanted to do is to find uh, more um, shampoos and conditioners things like that it that is more um, healthy for my hair like no sulfates and stuff like that chemicals in it something kind of natural something that will work for my hair type and all and I got contacted by this company okay the company I'm speaking of is this uh, Pyridor I think that's the way you pronounce it. Um, Pyridor. Pyridor. <laughs> they contacted me and I was so excited. And when they mentioned to me they would like to send me some samples of some shampoo, a conditioner, and um, an argan oil supply. So I said, okay, sure. First I thought about it and I said, thought. Sheila, you was just talking about your hair. You just finally pulled your hair down, like took the cornrows out and looked at the process of your hair. And why not go ahead? This is the perfect timing to get something that is good for my natural hair. All right. So anyways, I'll tell you more about this product in a minute, okay? I want to go back, okay, just a little bit because I missed a few parts. Now... I have cut my hair from the year 2011 up until now many times. I've clipped it that many times, okay? When I mean I clipped it, I mean I clipped it, okay? I did it every so long because sometimes when the growth came back, um, it was just products that I felt like I used on my hair, like shampoos, conditioners. I felt like it wasn't, it didn't do good for my hair, okay? It didn't work for my hair. It actually dried it out. So I would clip it again. I kept clipping it until I finally felt like my hair felt, you know, a bit better, you know, as far as the, the touch and... You know, I wanted my hair to be soft. I wanted it to be manageable. I wanted it to be somewhat bouncy. You know, all of that. So, until I got that result, I kept cutting my hair. So, this has been a journey, okay, since the year 2011. Here it is, 2015, at the end of the year, actually. October 2015, okay? So, this has been a journey of mine, and I knew how I wanted my hair. And another thing, um, I noticed that as I got older, my hair color got a little darker. <laughs> I mean, a lot darker. Anybody that knows me, including my family and people that went to school with me, they know I had a whole bunch of blonde, 
a whole bunch of red and just different tones. You can tell here, if you look on the edges, it's still blonde. My edges, all around my edges is still blonde. That's funny. And I do not have any hair color, you guys. I got rid of all of that since my journey and everything. You know, I, I just got rid of it, okay? And I said, I'm just going to go back to my natural hair color, my natural state. Which this is my natural hair color. This is not no color. Um, it's just the older I got, my hair got darker. And I can remember my mom was the same way. Because when my mom, I can remember when I was young, my mom had like sandy, you know, red hair. And then as she got older, her hair got darker. So I guess it's just genetics, okay? But we know that happens, okay? You could be born with blonde hair and as years go by your hair get darker that's what happened to me but anyways i love it though i really do it feels so wonderful and all this side i couldn't quite curl it as good as this side you know how it is that's just how i am i'm not a hair person okay first of all i'm not a hair person <laughs> Okay, I'm more of a beauty lover. I love makeup. But anyways, I did my best. And I did cut it. Like I said, I put it in a few layers. I did cut the size because it was all one length when I took it down. And I just kind of just went ahead and cut the um, edges around the side to just give it a little style in case whenever I want to wear my hair natural, I would have some sort of style, you know, already going on i wouldn't have to go to a salon because actually you guys i want to say this real quick and i get to the products my hair was super super healthy i'll never forget it okay i was my hair was super super healthy and i went to a salon and i never forget it the stylist asked me you know and my mom basically my mom more than me she said her hair needs to be trimmed. Her edges need to be trimmed a little bit. So my mom said, okay, if there's any split ends or anything, go ahead and trim it. Just trim the, uh, the split ends. That's all. You guys, if you have seen that video of mine with um, who am I, my ethnicity, that picture of me and my mom where I had my hair really short, okay, that was the style at that time when I was in school. There's nothing wrong with that style. I thought a lot of girls look good with that style. But I did not ask for that style. The stylist cut my hair that short. And what I mean when I say short, my hair was as long, a little bit longer than this, actually. Like I said, my hair was down about right here. Yeah. And I've always had thick hair. So as you can tell, I, my hair is really thick. So she cut it down to from my shoulders, you guys, from here. All the way up to one side. You know, that was the, the style. You know, that was the style. It was shorter on this side, real short. And then it was kind of long about right here, like where my bangs is here. It was about here on that side. And then all in the back was cut, like really, really short up in layers. I cried. But when she clipped it, I knew it was nothing I could do but just go on and let her finish. So, ever since I got that cut, you guys, no lie, my hair was damaged, okay? It took for years for my hair to grow back, especially in the back. Yes, this happened to me. The back took forever for years to grow back. And it was hard for me to get my hair to grow after that. I don't know what she did. I know that I was using a few chemicals at the time. Chemical, you know, relaxers. And... Because I wanted my hair straight, okay? So, I don't know what she put in my hair. Um, we didn't go back for some reason. We just didn't go back. We just went to try to get help. Went somewhere else to try to help my hair. But ever since that time, it's been hard for my hair to grow, okay? It's been very difficult. But eventually, it did grow. Eventually, I got my back. 
you know, the back of my hair started growing. And then I was using chemicals again, okay? Kept using chemicals, kept, you know, you know, put some color in it, et cetera, et cetera, okay? All right, so that is just a little background of me having to try to just my hair kind of history on trying to find products, using products. So it started kind of young from a haircut and a chemical relaxer uh, process that damaged my hair and me trying to find things for my hair. And eventually I did. Eventually it grew back out. It was healthy and everything. And then, of course, as we get older, there's more stress in life. Things happen. And, of course, the hair can always be damaged by stress as well. Okay? It's true. It can. You can damage your hair just by pure stress. Like, your hair can eventually just start coming out just because of stress. It's true. It happened to me. So, anyways... That is just a little bit of my background, my history with hair care, okay? It's been a long history. I bought so many products, so many shampoos, so many conditioners, so many hairdressings, masks, hair masks, et etc. Et long history because, you know, I'm 39. <laughs> I have used a lot of products, okay? I'm not going to sit up here and say I haven't. I've used a lot of products, okay? And, um... But now, coming back to today, so I was so excited because I know that my hair is on its way to being exactly where I want it to be. I do want it to be longer and it will. It will grow out um, the way that it's already uh, looking right now. I feel very positive about it getting back. To its healthy state and getting back to where I want it to be. <laughs> I just wanted to be back healthy, 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 super healthy. It's healthy now, but it needs to be. Needs a boost, okay? <laughs> it's growing. It's long. I consider this long. I mean, it's not up to here, but it's down to my shoulders. And so I'm happy with that, okay? But anyways, let me go ahead and get to the product. The product is called Pura. Door, I think that's the way you pronounce it. P U R A D O R. It's uh, it has argon oil in it. it says it's a premium organic anti hair loss shampoo. It's an effective solution for thinning hair, and it's a hundred percent natural preservative system. Okay, okay. A few more facts about this. Pearl Door Organ Oil Premium Organic Anti Hair Loss Shampoo. It says that it has 15 complete broad spectrum DHT blockers with Ketocanoli. <laughs> Let me just spell it out. It's K E T O C O N A Z O L E. And it supports healthy scalp. It generates hair and revitalizes follicles. It adds body, increases volume, and thickens hair. That is wonderful. I love body. I love for my hair to have a lot of volume, a lot of body. That's the way it was before it got damaged, okay? All right. And it says it's for all hair types, men, women, and color safe. Uh, it's USDA certified bio-based ingredients, 90% plus, okay? This is a three-month supply, this bottle. It, it is a 16-fluid ounce bottle, which is a good bit of um, shampoo. All right, can't wait to try this. There's more information about the formula on the back, but I will come back with a review and talk more about it how this product's going to work for me, show my hair again and let you see so I can see any results, you know, and all, and I'm sure I will. I've heard good things about this product. I feel like it's going to do great things for my hair. 
I do have the healing conditioner that goes with it. Um, I, this is the Parador Premium Organic Solution Healing Conditioner. It says it should manage the hair daily. It says daily manageability. Lavender and a vanilla extracts to soothe the hair. And it uh, has argan oil. It's 99% plant-based ingredients. And it's for enhanced shine control and silky feel, which I love the sound of that. I love to have great shine and a silky feel. It says no harmful sulfates, no SLS, no parabens, gluten-free, wonderful. All right, so it says it smells like vanilla and lavender. I just need to smell this, okay? I can just imagine. Oh, yes, it smells good, you guys. I like it. It smells kind of like peppermint, too, okay? But, yeah, this is the conditioner. Of course, this is the shampoo. Conditioner, shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, okay? All right. And then I got this little pouch here with a uh, Parador on it. It says Argan Oil and the website. I will list it in the description box, the um, website and all. You can also purchase these products on Amazon as well. But this is the Argan Oil, the Pure Argan Oil. This is the Argan Oil. It says this is for the body, hair, and face treatment. It's pure, natural, and organic, okay? And it's imported from Morocco, okay? It's from Morocco. All right, so that sounds good. Um, it has more about it. It says you just apply this oil as a daily moisturizer, morning and nighttime treatment, and to heal, protect, and condition everything from head to toe. All right, so this is the Oregon oil that I received. All right, I can't wait to try all of this stuff, and I will use it, okay? Um, and this is the shampoo and conditioner again. So I'm very excited to try these products, you guys. Um, one more thing I want to say is that the lavender oil in this conditioner, it says it soothes and nourishes hair and scalp. Uh, the vanilla extract helps control frizz. I do have frizz. I've always had some frizz, okay? Anytime you have curls or curly hair, you know you're going to have some frizz, okay? That just comes with curls. Um, so, yeah, I have some frizz. So, yeah, I can't wait to try this. And the Oregon oil builds follicle strength, okay? So, yeah, that's what everything does in this conditioner. And as far as this, um, as far as the shampoo, I basically told you everything about the shampoo. It's just, it adds body, increases volume, thickens hair, supports healthy scalp, generate hair, and revitalizes follicles as well. It's for all hair types, men, women, and it's color safe. Um, it doesn't have any SLS, um, no para, parabens, no harsh chemicals, and it, this is a 16 fluid ounce uh, bottle. One more time, it has a 15 complete broad spectrum DHT blockers with the K-E-T-O-C-O-N-A-Z-O-N. L -E. I'll write it up here somewhere. I can't pronounce that, and I don't want to pronounce it the wrong way, okay? But anyways, you guys, I am excited. This is like a treatment, kind of. That's the way I look at it. Or a therapy, hair therapy um, system. And I know that this came at the right time because I was wondering what can I do to maintain what I have achieved as to right now. Like how to maintain this healthy, soft hair that I had to do so much repair to try to get to this this level right now okay i had to do a lot of cutting and removing hair and all that chemical process stuff 
I had to go through all of that and I was willing to wear wigs while doing it, okay? That doesn't bother me. One thing I do want to say again, um, I will say this, while I am still in my hair repair process, I will continue to use wigs or extensions. I'm thinking about going back to extensions. I don't know which one is the best. Some say wigs is the best. Some say extensions is okay. Um, I've worn both of them, as you know. Maybe you don't know about the extensions. I used to wear extensions all the time. Okay, so I'm thinking about since my hair is at the length that normally I like to um, use extensions. Um, I don't know. I might start using extensions now. Then again, I might continue to use wigs. Okay. It's just part of the hair repair. Um, my hair repair. Um, I guess my hair repair, um, system that I'm doing for myself is that until my hair gets to where I want it to be, I basically just want to take care of it and use other things for my hair, even though my hair looks nice just the way it is. I mean, but I would like to keep it very much so um, cared for for a while and uh, just take care of it and just watch it keep progressing as far as the hair therapy. Just let it keep progressing until I get to the point where I want it to be back when I was younger. I want it to be back to that state and hopefully I can get it back to that state. I believe this will really boost it and help what I've naturally done on my own. This natural product right here I do believe will help my hair and I will use it. Okay. So I want to thank the company for sending this product, these products, these three wonderful full size products in my opinion. Great 16 fluid ounce bottles to me of product to help my hair. I thank you to the owner for doing this for me. I really thank you so much because it was totally given to me. So thank you. So yeah, so this will be my hair care therapy. And of course I will come back when I feel like um, giving a review. I will come back and give a review on the product. Let you know how it did, what it done for my hair. Any change, any big differences. I will make the video and I will show my hair so all of you can see for yourself um, just how much this product or what this product has done for my hair, okay? I will come back with a review and my thoughts video. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. So I hope you enjoyed this natural hair care type of video. It's different from any other video I've done, but it's time, okay? It is time for this, and I was thinking about that last month, and it's amazing how I got the message this month to receive these natural hair care products, which is organic products, and I'm so happy, but I was thinking about doing a video showing my real hair and let you all see and know what I've been doing to take care of my hair, okay, and get it back to where I want it to be like when I was in school, okay? <laughs> I know I could do it, but you know, sometimes it takes time. This has been a long time thing. I've been doing it since, I've been doing this hair therapy thing since uh, the year 2011. So here it is, the end of 2015. So yes, you guys, uh, this has been a long um, type of dedication, but look at my hair today. It's very soft and very manageable and so thick. I got my thick hair back because at one time it was getting so thin, you guys, but it was long, but it was thin, but now it's just back to that thick, full hair that I used to have. And also, yeah, you guys, I'm very excited to begin these products and see how aiming for longer and thicker hair okay all right you guys and even body you know body volume yeah that's thick hair okay 
anything the shine i would love to get that great shine again so on my hair so yeah i'm very pumped up and very excited all right you guys i'm gonna let you go and uh so yeah you guys i'll come back with the review and my thoughts on this product it will be a little while because i've got to test this product um so yes you guys and, and i want to say one more time thank you to this company the Parador company thank you for sending these wonderful products to me um i words can't describe how i feel right now i was looking for something that was natural and organic something really great for my hair so thank you so much to the owner of the company that sent me these products thank you all right you guys i'm gonna let you go so you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and remember i love you ah. And remember, take care of your hair. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm Sheila. Okay. <laughs> this is the morning after, which is the clips that you've seen is the day before. Okay. This is morning. Yes, it's raining. It probably be raining for probably a good bit of days um, because of the hurricane and stuff. But anyways, I want to come in and just show you how my hair looks after I have cleansed my hair using the Parador Organ Oil Premium Organic Anti-Hair Loss Shampoo and Healing Conditioner. Okay, I did use both of this. This is the shampoo. This is the conditioner. I did use it, and I use a good bit of this, you guys, okay? I hope this lasts at least 30 days. I think it says, yeah. No, it says three-month supply, okay? All right, I hope it lasts that long, but I really liked it. Um, I don't want to quite say what it has done for me because I want to come back with a review and my thoughts once I feel comfortable with the products and everything and results I could see or whatnot. But um, I just want to come in and let you take a look at my hair when it's freshly washed. It has dried. When I got done, um, washing my hair and conditioning my hair i did use the parador argan oil that was also sent to me um i applied this to like the um scalp area and around my edges and even on the ends of my hair so yeah i use that as well and this is how it looks this is the natural state of my hair right now you guys it's very thick as i told you i mean i can comb it out a little bit but like i said this is the natural state this is what i've been wanting um to get back to is the natural state of my hair and um, just for you to see how long my hair has grown, like if I straighten it, like there's my hair right there. If I straighten it, that's how long it would be in the front. Just for anybody that's curious as to how long it is, it's that long. And then, of course, in the back, um, I had it rolled so it was... You know still kind of curled up it wasn't straightened and this is how long uh the back of my hair is if you can see i'll stand up <laughs> so you can see it's this long here okay it's like right here to my i guess my chest bone or not it's past my breast close to my breastbone okay it's on my chest okay it's below my collarbone it's for the length right there okay so that's how long it is um but this is just the natural um how my hair looks when i wash it um like i said on this side um i noticed that this side is just a little bit shorter i noticed this been noticing it um this side on this this left side over here is a little bit shorter than the right but it's okay it will grow as you can see here hopefully you can this side extends a little bit longer all right <laughs>
but um, not too much longer, but it is. And of course, my edges are just blonde, okay? Good bit of blonde going on over here. Um, and even on the other side. But yeah, this is how my hair looks when it's been washed and I haven't put any heat in it. Um, I did put a little heat in it, the clips before, just to curl it a little bit. Um, but like I said, I don't want to put too much heat in my hair right now. I want to kind of keep it semi-natural and um, and just let it grow and get back to its healthy state. Um, I would straighten it, but I just don't want to put heat on my hair right now because I'm, like I said, I'm on this journey of healthy hair, getting my hair back to health and I wish the sun was shining because you could actually see my real real hair color you would see the colors that I've been saying but it's gonna be raining <laughs> so hopefully there will be a sunshine day that maybe I can do another little update or whatnot and you can actually see my natural hair color of course when it's dark my hair looks dark, but it's not as dark as it looks. Um, but anyways, um, even in the clips before, it was uh, cloudy. You know, it was cloudy. So you wasn't able to see my hair color and all. But yes, this is all natural. And I just wanted to come back and let you take a look at my hair after I have shampooed and conditioner and condition my hair and use the argan oil that was sent to me by Parador. I think that's the way you pronounce it. This product line. So, so far so good. I love the way my hair feels. My hair feels soft. Um, it feels a little dry, but not, I really don't mind that, <laughs> to be honest with you. I do like my hair, I do... I do like my hair to be moisturized, but if it's a little dry, it's okay. Um, I just have dry hair anyways, <laughs> naturally. Um, but it does feel just a little bit dry, but the moisturizer does help. It says to apply it daily, once in the morning, one in the afternoon, one time in the afternoon. So I will use the moisturizer tonight. Um, I'll rewash my hair one more time for this week, so I will I will most likely use this product twice a week um, as far as washing and conditioning and use that uh, argan oil every day, okay? That's what I have planned to do. So I just thought I would come in and just let you see my hair in its natural state after I wash it. Once again, you can see the length here. <laughs> like, yeah, I got a good bit of length and I'm so happy because, y'all, this was, this has been a <laughs> hair journey, okay? Just removing chemicals and just stuff that I just got tired of and just wanted to start over. And like I said, once again, I will come back with um, a review of my thoughts. You'll be able to see my hair again um, in its natural state. Uh, but for the most, I'm thinking about either getting extensions now or I might continue to um, look out for more weeks, okay? One or the other, okay? While my hair is still in the process of getting healthy okay i most likely i don't know i think i will most likely stick with wigs i'm not sure but i heard that extensions can hurt the hair like using them every single day it can damage the hair so um many say just keep your hair treated and wear a wig okay and so that's most likely what i will do all right, you guys, I just wanted you to take a look at my hair after I washed it because the day before I hadn't washed it um, with this particular product, the Parador um, shampoo and conditioner. I hadn't used it, so um, yeah, I used it this morning, and this is how my hair looks. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go, so all right, bye.
Love ya.